Watch your step. All set. I'll cut you good. That should be plenty. Thank the Maker. So, three Templars walk into a tavern. Not right now, Varric. Feeling all right, Blondie? You're always in the mood for Templar jokes. We still need the Drake Stone from the boat. We still need the Drake Stone from the bone pit. We still need the Drake Stone from the Bone Pit. Are you ready to go in? Ready as I'll ever be. We'll have to look for Drake Stone deposits along the sides. should be more further in. Trap! 
There should be more further in. Watch your step! Thank you. I wouldn't have asked just anyone to venture in there for me. There is one more thing, but we must discuss it privately. There is one more thing I would ask of you, Hawk, and I can't tell you why. I must get inside the Chantry without being seen. Will you talk to the Grand Cleric for me? Distract her long enough for me to do what must be done. What is it you don't want me to see? You said you believe in me. Again and again you have shown your support for mages. Then trust me now. I am doing only what is necessary. I can't act blindly. Tell me your plan. I am taking a risk. I would not see you drawn into it. But maybe your support of mages ends at talk. It's easier to support freedom if no one must die to achieve it. You cannot pretend friendship, then stop now. Tell me what you would have of me then. But I won't forget you blackmailed me to get it. I promise, whatever happens, it's on my head. It will not come back on you. Go to the Chantry. Talk to the Grand Cleric. I will join you when I'm done. Oh! Cheer up, Blondie. You're making me cry just looking at you. Don't. You made a mistake. It happens. No. I almost killed a girl. You've killed 254 by my last count. Plus about... You... you're here. Good. I... wanted to talk to you. Don't you have a funeral to attend? What? You mean Castillons? <laughs> I hope the cleansing blaze of the funeral pyres rejects his vile, sagging ass. Anyway, I'm glad you're here. Saves me the trouble of having to go look for you. I... wanted to thank you. For everything you've done for me. I'm glad you walked in here all those years ago. I was drawn in by the intoxicating aroma of stale piss and vomit. <laughs> it's funny. Now that I think about it, getting a ship just doesn't seem that important. 
I just hate to have to say goodbye. You're the best friend I've had in... in a very long time. <laughs> a toast to friendship and to us. And I hear she uses the... A dragon attacked your mine. Everyone is dead. Dear Maker, what of my equipment? Did it seem salvageable? No. And neither did the workers who died trying to save it. Oh, my heart. So many years of investment. I am ruined. Ruined. I'm sorry, champion. I appreciate your help. But I sank all my coin into that rotten mine. I have nothing left to pay you. Give me the bone pit. Perhaps in a few years I can get it back in order. What? Ha! <laughs> Fine. Take it. I wash my hands of this cursed venture. Chantry should do more in no time. that I like your coat. You do? It's very lively, like a crow in the middle of hunting. That's... that's great. I'll find you as soon as I'm done. Thank you. Maker's Blessing, Champion. Have you come to pray? Can you offer me your blessing? May Andraste lend you strength until you ascend to be with the Maker. This is a grave time. It is good to know you will face it in the Maker's grace. Is there some other reason you're here? I was just leaving. You are the Maker's child, Champion. ...whether you embrace him or not. There you are. I've been looking for you all over. Your Grace? Your soul is troubled, child. I hope you found a balm for it here. I wanted you to have this. What's that? A pillow? Hand embroidered by my mother. The only thing of hers they let me keep when I went to the circle. 
Why in the name of Andraste would you give that to me? You've been a good friend, Varric. Uh-uh. You keep your pillow, Blondie. And may you have many more dreams of killing Templars on it. Hawk. I didn't expect you here. But... Let me take this time to tell you how much I respect you. You've stood by me when I gave you every reason to turn away. Just remember, whatever happens, I wanted you to know that. Usually people don't say things like that unless they're about to stab someone in the back. None of this is aimed at you, Hawk. I think I've made that clear. I was hoping we'd find a better way, but... Justice and vengeance are too intertwined. I can't tell one from the other. You have been a better friend than I ever thought to have. <laughs>